My name is Isaac, and this is Humor. We'll be rendezvousing with the Genesee in a few hours. Since Tala is the only one on board who's had direct contact with them, I've asked her to conduct this briefing. Thank you, sir. As far as their degree of technological development, the Genesee are about on par with the Union. The biggest distinction, of course, is their attitude towards males. They're a staunchly matriarchal culture, which means any and all males who appear to be dominant are not to be trusted. Do they have males on their homeworld? They do, but they're relegated to second-class status. Why would we ally ourselves with such a close-minded society? NANI?! Why the hell is dealing with Mocklin culture always this difficult? They mutilate their female babies, they kill each other when they want a divorce. What are they doing at someone's birthday, light the parents on fire? I know we're supposed to be tolerant of alien customs, but man, there's got to be a limit. What is this? It is a female. My name is Havina. I wish to enter testimony. Absolutely not! Arbitrator, this... This freak, this freak... Female. That is correct. Is an offense to the tribunal. Wow, nice day to you too, dick. Dude, you have been a colossal dick all friggin' day. Shut the hell up. Arbitrator, to my knowledge, there's no prohibition against the testimony of a Mocklin female. That is correct. Why is it so bad to be born female? It is a serious birth defect, which severely limits the ability to function, biologically, intellectually, and socially. Wow. Nice day to you, too, dick. Interesting. Let's look at the biological end of it. What are the drawbacks? Females are weak. They do not possess the physical strength necessary for effective participation in industrialized Mocklin society. It is late. They will be home soon. We have much to discuss. There is nothing more to say until the Council reaches its decision. We cannot ignore the possibility that we will be going back to Mockless. I imagine that would please you. What do you mean? You have never been comfortable aboard this ship. There are females here, and it sickens you. It does not. You did not bother to greet Commander Grayson. And you have not acknowledged her presence since you have been standing here. Listen, guys, I'd rather not get in the middle no. of... Please, stay. Is it true that you had an altercation with a fellow classmate? Yes. Why? She had a piece I needed. Your teacher says you took it from her, and that you pushed her. Yeah, so? That was wrong, Topa. But she's a female. That makes no difference. They're inferior. It doesn't matter what they think. Where did you hear such things? From Papa. Nani? What a dick. Go to your room, Topa. We will discuss your punishment later. I didn't do anything wrong. Go! Topa is still female. I'm gonna use my imagination and pretend that didn't just happen. Then I'm gonna let go. And you're gonna get the hell out of my office. If you ever try to strike an officer again, I'm gonna break your goddamn arm off and mount it on my wall. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes! You will come with me at once! Get out of my way, Kalon! I am afraid that will not be possible. I will not permit you to disrupt the procedure. I forbid you to do this. You will destroy him! That is inaccurate. He will be altered physically, but he will remain a fully functioning biological organism. He will be a monstrosity! That is also inaccurate. I surmise your capacity to reason has been compromised by your cultural indoctrination. This is to be expected. Please depart.
Have you no room in your heart for tolerance? What inner fulfillment are you enjoying from this devotion to tradition that is so potent it drives you from your family? Papa, I love you. I wish you were never born. Wow, nice day to you too, dick. Why would we ally ourselves with such a close-minded society? Ha ha, got you.